What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. <clears throat> welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can ring the bell and buy my Soul Tribe if you like my Gabby mouth or the content. You can smash the sub button. I'm just saying. This is um, week three's reading for Sun of Aries. This is to resonate if you have Aries in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Midheaven, or Jupiter. Um, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. I got one channel message in as I was meditating on your week three, November 2021 20, reading. And the message um, is a dirty little secret is about to be revealed. That's what I heard. So that could be a dirty little secret about you or a dirty little secret connected to somebody connected to you. Do you plug it in how it resonates? If that resonates for you, Aries. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. Um, I was going to let you guys know, um, if you are interested in personal reading, um, my number's in the description box below. You can text me, and we can discuss open slots. If you are interested, it's $100 for a 15-minute reading. Uh, you can ask as many questions as you want. If I get a channel at the end, I'll share it. If not, then we'll just do the reading. All right. I love you guys. Let's do it. Free general reading. Um, only text messages resonate. Two of Wands upright, two of Pentacles upright. <clears throat> A pregnant Aries is about to find out about their partner's side piece. It is about to piss them off in a huge way. Oh, oh my God. Woo. Oh my God. Way to start it off, Aries. Woo. Oh my God. Oh, that's why I like being single. Oh my God. That's why I like being single. Woo, Lord. Okay, so if this resonates with you, you're a pregnant Aries. Um, obviously, you're a femme, or you have femme and masculine parts, however that resonates. But you have femme parts for sure because you are carrying a child in your womb. Um, but if this resonates with you, uh, you have a partner, and you're about to learn about their side piece, meaning their side chick or their side dude. However that resonates, I heard it's going to piss you off. So... Um, this is the pissy energy because you're finding out about the side piece. This is the, your partner juggling, i.e. side piece. Both of them coupled together, side piece energy. Juggling the side piece. Um, yikes. Oh, angry, fiery energy because of the side piece. Yikes, 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 yikes. It's going to make you very emotional and angry. Okay, heard it's going to make you very emotional and angry. Yeah, uh, I don't blame you. It would, would make me very emotional and angry too. Oh my goodness. Woo! We'll probably throw things. Okay, I heard we'll probably throw things. So you will probably throw things. Uh, well, your hormones are going all crazy because you're pregnant. So yeah, I can see that. Um, they should have just been honest with you. Oh my goodness. Libra and energy. Okay, I heard Libra and energy. Libra and energy. So um, you could have Libra in your chart or your partner could be a Libra. They could have Libra in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, fourth, and midheaven, Jupiter, if your partner does, or you could have Libra in your chart. I heard Libra and energy. So you plug it in, how that resonates. Holy. But you are pregnant, Aries, if that resonates with you. <clears throat> The devil reversed, death reversed. A very significant lab test is about to be run on a pregnant Aries soon. You're about to learn some news on the child that you're not going to like. Oh my God. 
Wow, that's terrible. Oh my God. You plug it in how it resonates. That's terrible. That's so terrible. Um, so some kind of very significant lab test. Um, maybe it goes with this. Maybe it doesn't. Because there's pregnant Aries energy in here very strong. So for some, it could be this. For some, it could be another pregnant Aries. But some kind of um, significant lab test is about to be run. Um, for some, it's you. For some, it is your partner, pregnant partner. Okay. So for some, it's you, pregnant Aries. For some, it is your pregnant partner. So you have to plug this in however it resonates, if it resonates for you. So for some, it's a pregnant Aries. They're about to get a lab test run, and it's um, some kind of lab test regarding the child, the fetus, and it's going to be some kind of news you're not going to like in some shape, form, or fashion regarding the child slash fetus. Um, for some, it's your partner that's pregnant, and it's going to be news on the child with your pregnant partner that you're not going to like. So you plug, it, you plug that in however it resonates. Oh, my goodness. The devil reversed, death reversed. And Aries is about to get huge backlash because they once said their partner, married partner, in a fraudulent marriage was dead, but they're not. Oh my God, what the hell? They're about to get serious, serious backlash in the universe for this. Serious. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Well, okay, so fraudulent marriage energy in here, that's not even, that's not real anyway. So you plug it in how it resonates. So if this resonates with you, you apparently put somebody in a fraudulent marriage. Um, it, if it's not you, Aries, that did this, it could be another Aries connected to you. You just plug it in how it resonates. You can't put anybody in a fraudulent marriage, but apparently somebody attempted to. Um, but they said the person they were in a fraudulent marriage with was dead. And like I said, if it's not you, Aries, it could be another Aries connected to you. But they said their partner was dead. Um, but I heard they're not. And they're about to get huge, huge, huge um, backlash in the universe for it. So I think people are about to call them out. They're about to get huge judgment for it. And people are about to call them out. This Aries is about to have to pay back a huge amount of money. A huge amount of money. Okay. I heard this Aries is about, and, and legal issues are coming connected to this. Okay. I heard this Aries is about to have to pay back a huge amount of money, a huge amount of money, and legal issues are coming regarding this. So regarding putting somebody in a fraudulent marriage and lying and saying they were dead when they really are not, and they're going to have to pay back a very, very large amount of money because they lied, because they lied. So, um... This is the person not being dead. It's not the person not being dead. And this is um, fraudulent marriage being exposed is what I feel. Because devil upright is anything toxic. That would be the fraudulent marriage. But it's being exposed. People are, know this person is not dead. They know they're not dead. So they're exposing the fraudulent marriage, which is going to create a series of chain events and make this Aries pay back all this money is what I'm feeling. Um I think obviously the only reason you would put somebody in a fraudulent marriage would be to steal money from them. So I think that's why they're going to have to pay back the money. And I heard legal action connected to this is going to be integral as well for this Aries. For some, these Aries could be connected, these fraud con person Aries could be connected to a Scorpio or a Caps. If they are, they could have Scorpio or Caps in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Maintainer, or Jupiter. If that resonates, that's pretty crazy. Spirit messages you have a sign of Aries. Airbnb is what I just heard. Airbnb. So Airbnb. So maybe one of you guys is about to rent an Airbnb or you own an Airbnb. 
or somebody connected to you is about to rent an Airbnb or they own an Airbnb. You plug the in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you, Aries. Some kind of Airbnb energy. And Aries is about to adopt a child soon. A teacher. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, I heard Aries is about to adopt a child soon. A teacher. So a teacher Aries is about to adopt a child soon. Well, congrats to you. It sounds like it's healthy. It doesn't sound like hopefully you really care and love, love this child, I'm presuming. Um, congrats to you. If that resonates for you, Teacher Aries. Five of Pentacles upright, Princess of Swords upright. A very caring feminine energy in your life is about to reveal that you have been left out financially. No child support. It's going to create positive series of shame events to get you legal child support. Feminine Aries. Okay, well, that's a good one, too. So you plug it in how it resonates. If this resonates for you, Aries, um, you're a femme Aries, and apparently you have been left out and you have not had any child support um, from your partner or your baby mama or, ba well, I think baby daddy, you're a femme energy. So either your baby daddy or your partner or your spouse, they are not paying you child support. Um, well, I don't think it's a spouse. I think it's a partner or a baby daddy. If this resonates, they're not paying you child support and uh, heard a femme caring energy connected to you. So it does. It could be a family member uh, or not, coworker or not, just somebody connected to you that really cares and loves you, truly cares and loves you. Doesn't have to be a family member, it can be anybody. But they're about to create positive series of chain of events for you to get you child support. So I think they have connections in the state or the legal sector to where they can help you get child support or information to give to you to where you can go and get your help for child support. That's exactly what I think. Um, this is you being left out the cold financially from your baby daddy or your partner or what have you. Um, and this is the caring feminine energy in your life that's about to deliver the truth. That's why she's coming up as Princess of Swords Upright, truth, honesty, clarity on the situation. Um, she could be a younger energy or just acts younger I like fun loving and younger because she's coming up as princess so like 18 to 35 esque energy um or she can be an older energy that just acts younger or mentally immature but i don't think in this situation she's mentally immature she don't sound like it she's just either very fun loving or like 18 to 35 esque energy you plug it in how that resonates if that resonates for you aries so that's a good one Spirit messages that you have for Spirit messages you have sign of Aries. Gucci bag. Gucci bag is what I just heard. Gucci bag. So Gucci bag, maybe you like Gucci bags or somebody's going to purchase you a Gucci bag or you're about to purchase a Gucci bag or somebody's about to purchase a Gucci bag for you. Some kind of Gucci bag energy, you plug it in how it resonates. Arrow, you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Keep moving forward. Okay, I heard keep moving forward. 
So keep moving forward. You're on the right aspect of some path of your life. So keep moving forward. You're in the right direction, basically, is what I take from this. An Aries child is about to fail a very significant class soon. It's going to make you very upset. Keep it together. Okay, I heard an Aries child is about to fail a very significant uh, class soon. I heard keep it together. So basically keep your cool, keep your calm. Don't go ham on the person. Um, because going ham on anybody, anytime, any day of the week is never a smart idea. Um, so keep your calm, keep your cool, and, you know, they failed a class, but that's them that failed the class. They have to pick themselves up by the bootstraps and try again, basically. So um, this could be you not going ham and not going cray cray on them and letting them try again, possibly, if you handle it correctly. Everybody has free will. You plug it in how it resonates. Okay, we're done. All right, you guys. I hope this helped. If you think anyone else could benefit from these messages, please share these videos on your social media. And word of mouth, I'd appreciate it. Love you guys. Namaste.